Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Orange Blossom Trail US 441 Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Derek Dean, and I'm the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will tell you about the department's plans to improve safety and enhance operations through this project and invite your feedback about the proposals. We encourage your participation, and there are multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I'll now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com slash project slash 447104-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5, Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida. 32720 by phone at 386-943-5077 or email at m-e-l-i-s-s-a-dot-m-c-k-i-n-n-e-y at d-o-t dot s-t-a-t-e dot f l dot u s you may also contact stefan kalakowski state title six coordinator by mail at 605 suwanee street mail station 65 tallahassee florida 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulakowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. This 6.5 mile long project proposes improvements on Orange Blossom Trail or US 441 from Colonial Drive or State Road 50 to Maitland Boulevard or State Road 414 in Orange County. The goals for this project are to resurface Orange Blossom Trail to extend the life of the roadway and enhance safety for all modes of transportation. That includes encouraging safer driving speeds by narrowing lane widths, providing pedestrian and cyclist facilities, and adding landscaping in the medians. Improvements include replacing some open medians with directional medians, replacing all existing on-street parking to accommodate continuous bike lanes, fill in sidewalk gaps at select locations along the corridor, and reconstruct curb ramps to meet Americans with Disabilities Act 
or ADA standards. Currently, Orange Blossom Trail from north of Colonial Drive to Silver Star Road is a four-lane highway, two 11 feet wide travel lanes in each direction with a turn lane or raised median in the middle. There are on-street parking locations on both sides of the road. There are no bike lanes and there are gaps in the five foot wide sidewalks on the southbound side in several locations along the corridor. From north of Silver Star Road to State Road 414, the four travel lanes are 12 feet wide with a turn lane or raised median in the middle and four and a half foot wide paved shoulders. There are no bike lanes and there are gaps in the five foot wide sidewalks on both sides of the road in several locations along the corridor. The proposed improvements from north of State Road 50 to north of Silver Star Road include removing any existing on-street parking and adding bike lanes on both sides of Orange Blossom Trail. Directional medians will also be added along the corridor with landscaping. The existing five foot wide sidewalk on the southbound side will remain with any gaps being filled in. From north of Silver Star Road to the State Road 414 ramps, gaps will also be filled in on the sidewalks on both sides of Orange Blossom Trail. Bike lanes are also replacing any on-street parking in both directions. Directional medians will be constructed at selected locations to improve safety along this part of the corridor. As we mentioned, Safety improvements are planned in the medians along the corridor. There are two intersections along the project that have a high crash history, including crashes involving bicycles and pedestrians. The first one is at Pope Road and Mott Avenue. To help reduce the frequency and severity of crashes at this location, the project plans to close the median at Pope Road and replace the existing open median with a directional median at Mott Avenue. In the proposed condition, drivers on Mott Avenue and Pope Road will not be permitted to turn left onto Orange Blossom Trail. The other high crash intersection is at Orange Blossom Trail and Busby Avenue, National Street. In this location, the project plans to install a two-way directional median. In the proposed condition, drivers on Busby Avenue and National Street will not be permitted to turn left onto Orange Blossom Trail. Drivers who wish to go north on OBT will have to make a U-turn at Corona Drive. The reason for directional medians at both the mentioned intersections is to help reduce the number of conflict points. Conflict points are places where two vehicles could cross paths and potentially collide. The red dots on these diagrams show the conflict points that can result in angle, left turn, and U-turn crashes, which can result in the most serious injury. There are 11 conflict points at an open intersection. With a directional median, that number is cut almost in half with just six conflict points. This project is also proposing the removal of all existing on-street parking within the project limits to accommodate bicycle lanes. The seven foot wide marked bicycle lanes will run the entire corridor. The travel lanes will also be reduced to 11 feet wide to help encourage safer driving speeds. The packing district is a redevelopment project centered at the intersection of Princeton Street and Orange Blossom Trail. This private project will be responsible for resurfacing and improving Orange Blossom Trail from just south of the railroad tracks to just north of Trailer Boulevard. Our FDOT design team is coordinating with the design team for the packing district to match project limits, minimize waste, and ensure that construction of the two projects result in a seamless final 
roadway corridor. The FDOT design team is also coordinating with other projects in the area, including the Intersection Improvements Project at Clarkona Ocoee Road, project number 445772-1. Also, the Intersection Improvements Project at Rosamond Drive, project number 441395-1. Finally, the Lighting Improvements Project being done by Duke Energy on Orange Blossom Trail from Clarkona, Ocoee Road to Rose Avenue. Design is underway for this project. All work will be done within the existing right-of-way. Construction is anticipated to begin in spring 2024 at a cost of approximately $16.9 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by February 13, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment to be included in the public meeting record, please complete a written comment form and return it to project staff. All written comments will be responded to in writing after the public meeting. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com slash project slash 447104-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at de R E K dot D E A N at D O T dot S T A T E dot F L dot U S or by US Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5161 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads. Dot C -O -M. Type the project number 447104-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Monday, February 13, 2023. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at cflroads.com slash project slash 447 104-1. Have a good evening.